What's that? A photograph? Let me analyze it. Hmm, another one. No good. Not oh, enough data, wait. I suppose. It seems like it's sh someone should be under their power if or I something. If I had the remaining data. I mean, it's probably here, right? What's there? Is oh. this it? <laughs> this should patch it up. Okay. Coco always asked me to read her books. She said she liked my voice. What book was I reading again? Here we go. The story of Apollo and Daphne. Mm -hmm. Apollo quickly realized that the beautiful laurel tree was the transformed form of his beloved Daphne. The grieving Apollo tore off the laurel leaves to make a crown that he put upon his own head. And oh. so, until the very last moments of his life, he vowed to always wear this piece of Daphne forever. How wonderful. What a beautiful story. Gods and men both pursue love in the same way. Um... What is it, Chloe? You're quieter than usual. I am dissatisfied with this ending. I don't think a story that rewards nobody is beautiful. But stories are what give an unrewarding reality a touch of salvation. You can't let things end in tragedy. Don't you think it's beautiful to see those trying to fight against that? Both gods and men? But a tragedy is still a tragedy. Daphne became a tree, and Apollo only got a piece of her. Nobody is benefiting from this. My, to be thinking of a story's <laughs> end in terms of a cost-benefit, that isn't too cute. Oh. Makes me think I raised you wrong. <laughs> I don't remember you raising me, Miss Coco. <laughs> no need to get cross. Let's see. What if we put ourselves in their place? If I ever became a laurel tree, would you take my leaves and make a crown? If that is your command. That won't work. <laughs> That's not your own choice. How about I give you this order then? Even if I die, don't wear anything of mine. When you go against my orders and wear something of mine, you will not be a doll, but a human. <laughs> I have another thing to look forward to now. I'm sorry to say, but there will be no way for you to know, Miss Coco. Yes, you're right. I wouldn't be able to know after I'm dead. No, <laughs> I need to say that you will not die. Huh? Because I am by your side, I will protect you. Uh. What is it, Miss Coco? No, you're right. It slipped my mind. You're my bodyguard. Hmm. She knows something else. Thank you. Hmm. After Coco died, I wonder if she would smile after seeing me carry around her gun everywhere I go. <laughs> well, that's a little bit weird to have something, right? Would she be happy that I've turned from a doll into a human? Even so. I don't understand. Even if I want to fight against a tragic ending, I still can't consider a world without Coco to be beautiful. To me, the story of Apollo and Daphne is still a tragedy. Hmm. We're getting closer. I feel like this star is like closer and closer. So this is, I think, the actual true path we pursue. The string. It at least it seems like it. I hope. <laughs> That's gonna be so interesting with this mm. inhibitor. Okay. I'm playing a supersonic wavelength at a special frequency. It seems effective. It's usually effective on sensitive organisms. 
It must have special audio sensory organs. Uh, this inhibitor is the same one they use on me. Hmm. Professor Julie, what are you thinking? Bringing a meteora down here is completely reckless. I'm well aware that it's reckless, Alba. You'd have to be naive to think that you can progress science without risk. True. And how many lives do you think you're putting in danger? <gasps> hey! <sighs> I wish you shut up, Alba. This meteora's screams are getting on my nerves, too. Ooh, maybe I'll give it some freedom. Oh. Hmm. Its eyes are exactly like Coco's. You can't even spot the difference analyzing the image on the quantum level. Hey! <laughs> Rude. Tell it's a hologram? Ah, such low intelligence. It's like a beast. So you're after Chloe after all. Do you hate the Machia pilot for killing so many of your kind? Chloe, is this enough for you to understand? This took Coco's form to deceive you people into a trap. Once you got close enough, it showed its true colors. This is an enemy. We should be killing it now. Before it transforms even further. What? Kill it? Don't be stupid. I never let such a cute and exciting specimen go. <laughs> oh. Whoa! <laughs> Spooky. It seems to have some high physical capabilities. Hey! Its movements more closely resemble an insect's than a beast's. <laughs> However, just looking at it is no fun. It might be a good idea to... Face it fairly. Professor what do you Julie? mean? Fairly? Oh shit! She Hello, went. Actually, Meteora. went there. Come here. Why don't we hug things out? <laughs> oh. Professor. Well. <laughs> Her arm. The professor's arm. What in the world is that? What? You didn't know it's a robot. Hmm. To be able to rip off this arm in one hit, oh. it's much more powerful than I predicted. Attacking with claws rather than with a bite. Hmm. Perhaps a sign of a carnivore. <gasps> hmm. I don't see any carnassial teeth. An omnivore, then. We have to check everything with our eyes since our scans won't work on it. Hmm. Hey, Professor, that's enough. Huh? The professor is as brilliant as always. Such great judgment. Cut your interest, has it? What do you think about my arm, Meteora? What? <laughs> How can you not appreciate the beauty of this arm? It seems that its intelligence and senses are on the level of an animal. <sighs> you want my head? No, those who cannot appreciate beauty <laughs> cannot have my head. <laughs> A filthy animal shouldn't underestimate human intelligence. The one thing I can't abide by is my property turning against me. Well, <laughs> you might rip my arm off, but I'm never letting you go. <laughs> Okay, shut up. Now, how should we be studying this thing? We could treat it like a pet or weaken it and bind it. It could be possible to cut it open and study every <laughs> nook and cranny. Mm. Here we go. Look, the tissue doesn't disappear right away after being separated from the host. It will eventually disappear, but there's lag. In this way, it differs from other meteora. If I could find a way to delay that time even more, dissection would be a possibility. Hey, Chloe. Yeah? What do you think we should do with this meteora? I want to hear your opinion. Uh-oh, Libra time. Your opinion as Coco's best friend. We should kill it, obviously. <laughs> it may look human right now, 
But if it regained its true meteora nature, it could be the end of the city. That's right. We need to kill it. It came to kill Chloe. While looking like Coco, no less. I didn't ask for you idiots' opinion. <laughs> I'm asking Chloe for hers. Chloe, how do you think we should handle this meteora? Oh my god. This is weird because normally we would postpone the decision but that eventually lead us to bad ending. To kill it now, it's like, it seems this character is gonna be a big part of the story I nonetheless. Shit, I clicked by mistake. Okay, we'll see. Really? You think it should be disposed of? Do you even need to ask? If it were anybody else's arm that got ripped off, and if it goes giant again, risks should be eliminated. And that should be killed. Chloe. Really? Even when it looks so much like Coco. This has nothing to do with Coco. There is nothing about it like Coco. A meteora using Coco's form yeah, for evil. That was a bad decision. Uh, we'll see. It's an eyesore. I don't even want to look at it. Hold on. Lieutenant Chloe, you are the reins that control this meteora. You should stay by its side. Yeah. Reins? Sure. This unique meteora unit could be the key to freeing the long imprisoned human race. You all saw it handily defeat the splitter meteora. Okay. Thank God, Dieter comes in. If this unique meteora unit can be controlled, humanity could even retake the surface. Ooh, really? Even when it's this small? If it can shrink, then it can probably grow. As large as it needs to. Yes, I'm sure. It can grow to heights that reach the heavens. Oh god, here comes his artistic bullshit. The unique has transformed on four occasions at this point. From meteora to sphere. From sphere to humanoid. From humanoid to another humanoid. <laughs> and now something human-like. The trigger to these transformations seems to always be you lieutenant chloe there is no doubt that you are special to this unique unit don't you feel that yourself oh fuck I'm, i i guess i'm gonna fall quiet because i agree but yeah fall quiet uh, mm. i think you've noticed the unique saved you twice when it was still in its giant form if that meteor didn't shield you you could have died mm -hmm. Even if your head can understand, perhaps your heart can't accept it yet. That you were saved by a meteor. Dieter is trying to play tricks again. <laughs> that was just a coincidence. Yeah, it was obviously a coincidence. The meteors fighting each other just seemed like it was saving Chloe. Very well, then let's dispel your doubts. Oh shit. General Dieter, what are you... Uh... Lieutenant Chloe. <laughs> Shit. I will kill you. Ah. <gasps> Dieter, you... Chloe! <laughs> so it seems like it. Aren't you the meteora who came to kill me? You're supposed to be the one who killed Coco. Maybe there are two people inside it. Huh? Half is Meteora, but the other half could be Coco. Could be. Well, that complicates things, doesn't it, Chloe? If hypothetically half of it really is Coco, you can't kill the unique. Because that would mean killing Coco. Uh. <laughs> it's decided. As I thought, the unique views the lieutenant as someone to protect. It wants to hurt her, but also protect her. Oh, <laughs> lovely. It may seem contradictory, but it's both hostile and protective. <laughs> Lieutenant Chloe, I order you to monitor the unique. Monitor? Monitor the violent unique? There could be an accident. It's far too dangerous. And it could become giant again. General Dieter. Please step away from Chloe. You're acting strange today. I have no idea what you're thinking. 
You are right to feel that way. Unpredictability should be fear. <laughs> because the root of fear is ignorance. Ooh. Your fear of the unique unit comes from the same place. You do not understand what meteoras are. You do not know where they came from. You don't know how to handle them. However, there is only one way to remove your fear. To give it a label. Label? We fit the unique unit into our reason, into our logic. When faced with something that makes no sense, one must make it make sense. <coughs> okay. First, we need to name it. Oh. We should give the unique a name. Professor, you have the right to name it. I don't care about its name. I'm interested in what it has inside, not its outside. Professor, a name is important. It can change how you see the specimen. For example, what would happen if we were to hypothetically name the unique unit Coco? <laughs> uh. Would it not begin to look like the departed Coco Coconoe? Because their eyes are very similar. I mean... If the professor wishes to relinquish her naming rights, then I can nominate another candidate. What do you say, Lieutenant Chloe? You were close to Coco Coconoe. You might be able to come up with an appropriate name. Dahlia? Yeah, I'll figure about a name for mm -hmm. sure. I can't think of one. Ah, oh, shit. General Dieter! It doesn't matter what it looks like, it's still a meteora! Stop pressing Chloe with this. Oh, is that so? Trying to know the unknown is unacceptable? I think Dahlia would be a cool name. No, I'm sorry, it's just... Whatever we call it, it's still a man-eating meteora. Man-eating meteora? That's a name strongly influenced <laughs> by your fears. As long as you still call it that out of fear, that meteora will continue to be a man-eater. Without knowing the truth behind her death, we can't even know if it actually ate Coco Coconoe. Making assumptions, drawing conclusions, denying any possibilities. Whose actions here are truly unacceptable? General, in that case, what about Anima? Anima is cool as well. It's hidden meaning behind it. Anima, you mean soul. Yeah. One that breathes. A it also encompasses Shit. the feminine. Anima, animus. This meaning is comparatively new. It has double meanings. And it's an ancient word. Ah. I thought you would like it, General. Very well. Then the unique unit's name is Anima. I'll leave the tagging to you. Get it done. And continue writing in your interpretation. It will eventually displace your fear. Sorry for the commotion. I will take my leave. Hmm. What now? <sighs> What was General Dieter thinking? I had no idea he was so crazy. <laughs> I used to always look up to the General. He was always quiet and elusive, but his words were what we needed to hear. Even my dad always talked about how great Dieter was. Maybe it was on purpose. On purpose? So we could let off some steam. Mm -hmm. By focusing our emotions onto him, he calmed the situation down. That seems a bit generous. Theater seemed pretty confused to me, too. <laughs> Do you think that too, Chloe? I mean, Theater is right. I would agree with Oba, for sure. Oba might have a point. Although, I'm in no position to know what the General is thinking. You're right. He's the one always considering peace and order. It didn't seem natural. That doesn't mean I forgive him for insulting Coco like that. Come on. When it comes to Coco, I just... Shut down. <laughs> you can't help it. She was an important friend to you. Hey, Chloe! <sighs> yes? Why is it still... <sighs> <laughs> Chloe will be your caretaker from now on. You'd better tell us 
everything we want to know. Good to be working with you, Anima. <laughs> Let's start with reviewing the situation. The unique unit, now Anima. At first, Anima appeared as a regular Meteora. That ate Coco, okay. Yeah. It has miniaturized now. But what will it transform into next? <laughs> a knife or a gun? <laughs> hey, Alba. If it goes huge again like a normal Meteora, this city's... Dubbed. It depends on its mass, but... There's a fear a Meteora could destroy the entire underground city. Along with Prometheus. That would be a disaster! Actually... I think that's exactly what Anima's role is. Anima's mission is to kill Chloe and destroy the underground world. I can't turn a blind eye when it threatens the people protecting me. It should be exterminated immediately. I understand where Noah and Yamato are coming from. Anima is a meteora after all. But to be honest, I think we should let Anima live a little longer. Why? I can't help but wonder. If it came to kill Chloe, why did Anima try to save her? That's easy. It didn't want its prey getting stolen from it. There's so much mystery. With the Meteora, with Anima, and even... <sighs> mm -hmm. That Meteora killed my original. You definitely want it gone, right, Chloe? Ah, uh, fuck. There are so many decisions now on this path. I'll share hesitation. We're going with the pussy route again. <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Do you still think Coco is inside it? No, its claws hurt me. Coco wouldn't do that. Then why? But I just don't know anymore. I don't know anymore either. When I saw it attack General Dieter when he pointed his gun at me. I told you, that was just... Just because it looked like it saved me. I don't mean to say that it's Coco, but there are too many unknowns. Hmm. About the Meteoras, about this unique unit, and also about Coco. Hmm. If we continue distancing ourselves from things we don't understand, we will regret it. Sure. A Meteora? No, it's a different sound. Everyone, look at your sphere! What? Whoa, they invaded. What is this? This mask mark. Yeah. It's Patroclus. Patroclus? They're the guys who write graffiti on the walls and put up posts on Sphere, right? They're always making us out to be the bad guys. Most of the information here is lies. I completely forgot about them. What, Noah? <laughs> Keeping the wealth to ourselves? You gotta be kidding me. We don't risk our lives fighting the Meteoras for money. Images of the humanoid Meteora? How did they get such classified information? <clears throat> Professor Julie and I made sure to bolster our security. Patroclus has been oddly strong in information warfare these two years. And hostile to us. You gotta be kidding me. People are buying these obvious lies? In a world with limited resources, social disparity is unavoidable. However, it's possible to live happily if you don't worry about what class you're in. You just need to arrange your appearance and textures, and leave the thinking to Libra. I saw the other ending, Noah. I know what to do. But when people are shown this disparity and made to see their own misery, anger and envy turn to hatred. That's when they start seeking the reason for their poverty in society. Then they get exhausted, and finally jump on conspiracies without a shred of evidence. That was kind of hard to follow, and I don't really get it, but... I didn't either. <laughs> Protests would be bad. Someone could get hurt. We have to stop them. You're right. This isn't the time to be analyzing the situation. Let's go to the city and ask the protesters to calm down. We could be enough to stop them if matters don't get too out of hand. That never works. If the protest gains steam, it'll be too late. The Argos security drones could be dispatched to suppress the situation. If that happens, it would be chaos. But what are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to calm the protesters? Don't worry. If comparison breeds sadness, then I reject it. <laughs> High and low standing? Classes? 
differences? Hierarchies? I don't know any of those concepts. Making comparisons is meaningless. Every life is a treasure. I am here to bring you together. Wait for me, everyone. I'll be right there. Did Noah head to the city? <laughs> Did. Then we should get over there, too. I'll arrest every last person in a mask. <laughs> oh, damn. The city is dangerous. Worst case scenario, they might even target us pilots. I'm sure they're all feeling down because of the unique. Chloe, you can wait in your room if you want. No, I'm going. The fuck? Actav, I guess it means I'm going? Why are you worried about me now for? Did you forget I'm a design? I've been made much tougher than any of you. Body and heart alike. Your heart too? Really? Well, be careful at least. Don't need to tell me twice. Okay, we're going. Oof.